Common Base Gamer. Light on my feet. Ask me, it ain't much of a trophy. Good thing I ain't asked ya. Traps about. Time to rest. Best be on my way. Careful. Your attempts to disarm that trap haven't gone unnoticed. Be brief. Ha! Look at where the absolutes love gotten. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways.
don't linger. your bag. A crooked touch. No! Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the, the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they ambushed us. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... so efficient. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it. He should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived, I'm not sure. All I know is there's a the passageway to the Night Song. Brian had instructions, but the, the goblins got him. They, they said they'd eat him. I, I have to go. I have to get out of here. Is that blood? No, never mind. Open up. Swift as my feet can carry me. Ah, oh, curse to put my hands on everything. What did you mean before, Gail? A woman with shadows for eyes, you said. Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. Don't waste a step.
slow down. Whatever comes, I'm ready. chances.
someone inside out.
pawn to cleric four. Worthless with a tired mind. Sleep beckons. I would follow.
and knock the corpse The corpse does not respond. You seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gail. Everything, really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. be useful. Another day, another fight. That might be worth a look.
What's in here? I'm sure. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Do this all day. <laughs> no more questions. Don't 
touch me. symptoms no sign of tentacles so far the same except for a knot of worry in my stomach that's in no rush to go away that I can relate to There's nothing. Mortos in the corpse regards you lifelessly. Crusher, strongest of our tribe. If I had, would have killed him. Tolring. Magic shouldn't be, boss, but draw Ragslin, Hobgoblin. You wait, Absolute will make you pay. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions.
The air is ripe with magic. Ignis! Ignis! No one back home will ever believe this. These boots have seen everything. One day I'll catch a break. What's inside? Goblins are such vile little parasites. Not the vilest any of us have seen of late, unfortunately. Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. No. I'm fine. Forget it. I... I don't know. Uncertainty. Fear. Shadowheart genuinely doesn't know what just happened, but she's afraid of it. No. I wish I knew what it was. But it's not that. I... Thank you. But I'm sure it was nothing. I just... need a little space. I have something to ask. I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chionthar. Where'd you learn moves like that? Your gift is near blinding. Your deity must have blessed you twice over. The Blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has to, better it be with a champ like you. Was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh... A higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. 
That... that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Fate spins along as it should, although thou dost not seem to be in need of my services.
You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste, I swear. Ah, of course. <laughs> I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? A shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Uh, 
Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders until the crash when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well... That explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. You say all the right words, but I'm not so sure you mean the right things. Still, I will respect the decision that was made. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Things feel different. Still alive, so that's progress. I wonder.